For the most reliable NBA 2K MT or Madden coins, head over to buy2kmutt.com for the cheapest coins online and use code MASSIVE for 35% off your order. So welcome back to another My League Rebuild here on NBA 2K20. And in today's video, we are going to be going back to the Trading Every Player Rebuild. I always have a ton of fun with these. The team turns out super fun. I have a very, very bad habit, though, of always forgetting one specific person. Like, I trade a lot of guys, and then I forget to trade one person. They always end up on my team in the first year, and I guess at that point I fail the challenge. So I'm going to make sure today... I'm going to make sure today that I make sure, whoops, I just said that a lot, that I'm going to trade everybody. Everybody's going to be gone. Just everybody. I don't care if they're playing or not. They're going to be gone. I'm not risking it. We're not doing any of that today. So we're using the Houston Rockets, as you can tell. Uh, James Harden, Russell Westbrook, obviously, really don't want to trade either of them. It's kind of the point of the video, though. So if you don't understand how these work, you've never seen one of these before, first of all, welcome. I got a whole, I got like 100 subscribers yesterday. First of all, huge shout out to you guys. I got like 100 subs yesterday because I told people that like almost 50% of my subscribers or 50% of the people that watch my videos are not subscribed. And if you're one of those, stick around, stick around. Best fan base in the world. I love each and every individual one of you. Super, super happy to have you here. So we're going to be doing this rebuild. As I mentioned, if you don't know how these work, basically you have to trade every single player on the team. I've been doing these for a couple of years now and they can no longer be on this team at any point of the video. So I cannot go out and... I don't know. Robert Covington's on the team. I cannot go out and, you know, reuse Robert Covington on the team at any point in time. So very, very simple concept. Every single one of these guys will be getting traded. Uh, James Harden, a lot like other superstars in the league, you cannot use them on the trade finder. So what I do for that is basically I find a, like a list. I do basically one through 10. Um, actually, I'll explain that more. I'll explain that more after. But we are going to start this one off with Russell Westbrook. Mr. Triple Double himself, Mr. MVP. Um, a lot of these like this one I would love to take. This one would suck. Like, so my eyes are shut for these, so obviously I have no idea. So we're just going to go ahead and stop this in three, two, and one. This one sucks. This is a, it's, I mean, it could have been worse. Nikola Vucevic, Devin Fournier is not the end of the world, but it definitely, it could have been better. That kind of goes without being said. So uh, Robert Cunningham is going to be next, but his overall jumps up a ton at small four. He's actually up to an 85. So I think we can probably, hopefully, get some, uh, some better trade options there. I think we definitely should be able to up to three and a half stars. All right, let's see what we got here. We're going to go ahead and stop this one in three, two, and one. We're actually going to go one to the right this time. Davis Burton's, or it would have been Hassan Whiteside. Um, I actually don't mind that just because Whiteside's on a one-year deal. I wouldn't have had bird rights on him. Honestly, Davis Burton's might even be a better player than Hassan Whiteside at this point in time. And we get a really valuable first-round pick, and Robert Covington is not going to help him that much you know, with that one right there. So James Harden, we still get no trade offers for. Sometimes, it'll, like the more people you move, sometimes it's easier P.J. Tucker's going to go up a ton of power forward. Uh, it's easier to actually find more trades, 79. He's actually an 81 overall small forward, so that's cool. So, um, at this point, we're going to do P.J. Tucker and Eric Gordon. See if we can maybe get one other good trade for them. And then the rest of the guys probably not going to get me much. But let's see what we get here. We're going to go ahead and stop this one in 3, 2, and 1. Thaddeus Young and Denzel Valentine. That's um, that's not ideal. That's definitely not ideal. So, I'm going to move Harden now. Uh, as you can see here, I made sure he was off my untouchables. So, it's not because he's on untouchables or anything. But basically the way I do this is you can see if point guard one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I pick a number one or 10 technically because I can do any. So I pick a number one through 10. I ask Siri and then I go, I'll, you'll see. Siri, pick a number one through 10. That would be 10. All right. 10 is center. So I guess we're getting another center next to Vucevic. And so guys I can realistically trade James Harden for that are not like too low of value, but also, I mean, technically I typically do some that are too high, but I should probably be able to get Joel Embiid. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, I'll actually do, I'll do eleven because we can toss eight in there. The money's not going to work. But one through eleven. So let me ask Siri. Siri, pick a number one through eleven. It's four. They want me to get Rudy Gobert. So I don't know if the money's going to work on this one. It's not six million more. So I basically just have to throw in six million more uh, in some way. If there's anybody like Ed Davis. God, 800,000 more. We're really going to sit here and argue about that. Um, can you just give me Ray John Tucker? And oh my God, like this is annoying. Nothing. All right. This is just stupid and it's annoying. The fact that I have to trade James Harden for Rudy Gobert is stupid in the first place. Um, do you want to just give me Joe Ingles? Mother of God. Uh, I still do have other people to trade technically. So you want Ben McElmore? Yeah, that sucks. But kind of how these videos go. They're never really fun. So yeah, Rudy Gobert and Nikola Vucevic. Two seven-footers, basically, are going to be leading this team. But we still do have a couple other guys to trade. Uh, Daniel House, Austin Rivers both need to go as well. So we're going to be doing that really, really quickly here. Uh, we're going to get this done. Three, two, and one. And and just add another center. Add another center. Why Why the hell not? Um, and then finally, I think here, uh, Damari Carroll, Jeff Green. I think they're on this team. I, I always lose track sometimes because I get so many players here eventually. And three, two, and one. Gary Payton and Admiral Schofield, just useless swapping here. 
Finally, uh, Tyson Chandler. Gar is Gary, Gary Payton's not on this team, is he? I have no idea. He might be. I don't really remember. Three, two, and one. And Joakim Noah. And just add another center. We're gonna, dude, this is going to be the tallest fucking team in the world right here. Um, Hartenstein, Thabo Cephalosha. I'm, Bruno Caboclo, if he's on this team, I'm not trading him. It's fine. We'll stop it. And three, two, and one. Isaac Bonga and a European guy. So, we're officially all set. Um, another big rule with this, I do not trade anybody. We actually don't have a point guard. I can go into free agency, though. I've never really established that rule anywhere. Uh, I definitely can go into point guard. If Trey Burke wants to come here, I need to release somebody. All right. Let me get this done. I'll see you guys at the rotation. So, Trey Burke wanted too much money. He didn't want to sign with us, so I just signed Darren Collison. It's a one-year deal anyway. It's not even that big of a deal. So, yeah, this team obviously, you know, looks absolutely nothing what, like the Houston Rockets do in real life. Probably not going to be nearly as good as they are, but we will, you know, we'll see. Do we have our first round pick? We do not. That's just awesome. That's just awesome. Who is my first round pick? And is there any sort of protection on it? Like at all? Because I don't, I honestly don't know how good this team's going to be. I, I, I'm just, I'm being totally honest here. I really have no idea. And actually, where's my first round pick? Okay. Denver has it and it's totally unprotected. That's just not good. Mm-hmm. Um, damn it, damn it, damn it. All right, well, I'm not trading any of those. Um, I'm, I have a rule I'm technically not even supposed to be trading anything. So I hope this team does well. Uh, this is the rest of the rotation. Vucevic, Lopez, Thad Young, Denzel Valentine. Super tall team here. Very, very tall team. We have one point guard in the rotation. Probably not going to go that well, but I'll see you guys at the end of the first year. So year number one comes to a close. It honestly wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. It really, really wasn't. LeBron wins an MVP, 30 and a half points, almost seven boards, 10 assists. We went 42 and 40. We're probably a playoff team. I mean, maybe. It's a very, very good Western Conference, obviously. John Morant, Rookie of the Year. Yusuf Nurkic, Six Man. Kawhi Evans, Player of the Year. Luka Doncic, Most Improved. And Brad Stevens. Wow, look at the Celtics. Good for them. Okay, never mind. We're not. Oh, no, we are in the playoffs. We're a six seed. I don't know why I just assumed we were an eight seed. And just if we weren't there, we weren't in the playoffs. But I was wrong. We are in the playoffs. We're a six seed. We're going to be taking on the Dallas Mavericks here in the first round. Player stats on the year led in scoring by Evan Fournier, who hopefully boosted his trade value quite a bit because he's probably not going to be here for too long. Nikola Vucevic, as our sixth man, was our second leading scorer. Darren Collison with a pretty good year, but I mean, again, somebody has to score the basketball. I cannot. I would imagine we're probably the lowest scoring team in the league. Actually, we're not even that bad. Hmm, not that bad. Uh, defensively, we had to be pretty good. Could not have been that bad. Okay, we're also we're, we're mid, to say the least. I'm way too white to say mid. I really, really am. Dallas here in the first round. Jalen Brunson, Luka Doncic, Tim Hardaway Jr., Maxi Kleber, Chris Porzingis really looks like they didn't change much of their team. And also, if you guys are wondering, yes, I do this at the beginning of the 2019-2020 season just because I want to trade guys. Obviously, in the real world, we're past the trade deadline, so it doesn't really make much sense. And even, even with that, like if a team like the Houston Rockets, who's like a top three seed in the Western Conference, if I was at the trade deadline and then – you know, traded the whole team. It's just going to screw everything up because then I, we're already, what, 40-something games into the year? It just doesn't really make much sense. Because then if we go on a run like this, we end up 500, and it just it doesn't play out for anybody. So I like starting the beginning of the year, switching everything up anyways. Clippers here in round number two. Lou Will. Whoa, we won? Oh, shit. Okay, we won. I did not think we were going to win. I just said we were moving on to round two like we were a one seed. Lou Will, Paul George, Kawhi, Marcus Morris, Montrezl Harrell, Reggie Jackson. I'm going to assume that team's going to probably murder us. Uh, they just seem like they're way too good. And yeah, Kawhi, Kawhi and Paul George at the end of the day, still Paul George. So we end up losing that one. Um, it's okay though. We're going to go ahead and simulate the rest of this, but as always, if you guys do want to see me do this with other teams, make sure to comment down below. And if you guys see a comment that you want, you know, you agree with, if you say do this with the Grizzlies, do this with the Pelicans, whatever it may be, just smash the like button on that comment it helps get it to the top. You know, more attention, more people want to see it. You know what I'm saying here? Lakers bucks in the NBA finals. Lakers do go on to win. LeBron James does go on to win another NBA finals. So. He's now officially, what, four and six in the NBA Finals now? Cool, cool, cool. Up to the draft lottery. Um, we obviously don't have our pick anyways. Um, I don't know if that, uh, yeah, it doesn't really look like that Wizards pick turned into anything for us. Um, yeah, it's pick 16, which honestly isn't that bad. I can maybe look to trade up a little bit. So Joshua Willis is fine. David Johnson's fine. Mike D'Antoni, I'm not going anywhere. Luke Williams, you suck. Uh, and then our trainer's not bad. Actually, I mean, technically, he's the same. A B plus and a B, because as you can see right in it, Randy Martin has a B training right now so a b at the end of the day a b and a b plus don't change anything so i'm not gonna fire him i'll find a new scout next off season i don't know why sometimes there's like only b scouts available it's just such a weird thing but we're gonna head to the draft right here uh so as i mentioned 16th overall pick definitely need to probably trade one of these two and i think probably it's gonna be vucevic i mean rudy gobert is a better center 
in pretty much every way, shape, or form. Maybe besides scoring and shooting, but that's not really what you always look for at the center position. Okay, Brooke Lopez is probably going to be in a trade as well, just because I'm trying to get a lot of better guys. Honestly, a lot of this team is probably going to tr get traded. I'll see you guys once I have that first trade. So I'm kind of stuck between two trades right now. I moved Vucevic and Brooke Lopez to power forward. They both jumped up a ton of overalls. The Minnesota Timberwolves are offering me pick three and D'Angelo Russell for Vucevic, Lopez, and then pick 16. And the Chicago Bulls are offering me both Larry Markin and Zach Levine. It's just, it's a really tough one. I'm really in between both of these. I think I'm going to lean more towards this one just because I don't really ever get Larry Markin or Zach Levine. I think it would be kind of cool to try to win a championship with them. So we are going to do this. Nikola Vucevic, Brook Lopez, our 16th overall pick, and then a second-round pick underprotected in 2024 for Larry Markin and Zach Levine are both going to be the newest members of the Houston Rockets. So definitely have a couple other things to work out here. Uh, but without a doubt, this team is definitely looking improved already. I mean, we have a nice young big three right here. I think Thad Young and Joe Ingles, as much as I, you know, kind of like both of them, probably going to look to move on. This team is, you know, I'm trying to, I'm not looking exactly in a younger direction, but I mean, Zach Levine being 25, Larry Markin being 23. I mean, Gobert is here, but he's not 32. Like, there's, a, there's, it might not sound like a huge difference, but 28 and 32 in the NBA is a very, very big difference. So, Ingles and Young are probably both going to get moved now. I'm going to try to get a pick and let me see what I can work on there. So the Hornets actually have the ninth overall pick. I'm going to see if I can send Thad Young and Joe Ingles there for the, you know, ninth overall pick. I would definitely not mind getting that. Uh, you can have Admiral Schofield if you want him as well. Cool. And now we are the newest owners of the ninth overall pick in the 2020 NBA draft. So at this point, Rodney Magruder, not going to be getting paid five million bucks. Just honestly not, you know, in my best interest here all right we're gonna get a first round pick i think that was actually a swap with us so that's cool uh isaac bonga if i can somehow get a valuable first round pick for you it's an indiana unprotected pick absolutely we'll take that you're not going to be in my rotation anyway so we do have the ninth overall pick we're definitely in the point guard market we don't have a single good point guard on this team darren collison's probably going to be gone anyways uh levine will be here we need a small forward as well uh probably gonna look to trade davis burton's i'll probably resign him so we either need to draft a small forward or a point guard uh looking at some guys here realistically at nine Obviously, the Mellow's probably not going to be here. Core won't be here. Hayes probably won't be here as well. Um, honestly, we'll just play it by ear. We're, we're just going to play it by ear. That the, honestly, that scouting report looked a little, little fishy. I don't know how Anthony Edwards wasn't lower. I think he was like actually listed at number nine, but we'll see. So, a lot of guys go here. Um, I think actually, wait a minute, wait a minute. Killian Hayes is still here. Okay, maybe I'll take Killian Hayes out of France. You no, know, screw it. Let's do that. He's probably going to be our new point guard moving forward. I'm perfectly fine. He's not a guy I draft a lot. Six five out of France. Cool. Let's see what we can do. It's going to be a 76 overall for us. And yeah, I'm definitely excited to use a new, a new guy here. So Evan Fournier does decline his option. I mean, he just put up a ton of points for us. So I'm probably going to work on a sign and trade with both him. Actually, no, I'm going to probably keep Evan Fournier to come off the bench for us. I think Davis Burton's is more likely uh, to be in the sign and trade department than Evan Fournier is after putting up 20 points for us. I mean, he's obviously not going to do that again coming off the bench, but definitely will be serviceable enough. So, but boy, oh my God. Hold on a minute. How do I have cap space? Actually, I definitely have cap space. Yeah, I definitely have cap space. Anthony Davis, uh, any interest in coming to Houston? Any interest there? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay. We, we got Anthony Davis. Um, that's cool. I guess Evan Fournier is just going to have to walk at this point. Uh, depending on how much Burton's qualifying offer is, I probably won't renounce that either. Uh, it's 10 Actually, I don't have to renounce it. It's $10 million bucks. And, yeah, wait, was that a... No, it's a cap hold. I still have the Robert Covington trade exception as well. Um, I definitely have to renounce Fournier, but Davis Burton's, I do not have to renounce. So yeah, Anthony Davis is officially a member of the Houston Rockets. I cannot believe he signed with us. We weren't even that good. Um, that's awesome. That's, that's, that's awesome. Uh, make sure we're still good here. There's wait one more day and then I'll work on the signing trade, um, with Burton. So yeah, we're officially good there. Anthony Davis is officially a member of this team. Let's go ahead and re-sign Davis Burton's now, uh, about 80 million bucks. It's like 20 a year. It's not even that bad. I'm, I'm honestly surprised that this happened, but yeah, I do want to start killing Hayes no matter what. So I think probably Larry Markin and Davis Burton's are going to get traded for a small forward of some sort. Um, I'll put him up in the trade finder. If I, I wanted to use Markin like I really know I did, but I also, I mean, it's Anthony Davis. I'm not, I can't like that front court defensively is absolutely insane. It's absolutely insane. I don't really want Tobias Harris. I kind of get him a ton. Michael Porter Jr. is actually like exactly what I'm looking for. I was literally just about to say his name. Um, not the most fair trade in the world. We're also getting Gary Harris back. So Michael Porter Jr. going to be the newest small forward here for the Houston Rockets. So at this point in time, uh, I need a backup small forward, a backup center, and a backup point guard. Definitely going to work on some of those here. Uh, JJ Barea. I'll actually sign Isaiah Thomas. I don't really ever get Isaiah Thomas anymore, and I wouldn't mind getting IT a championship. That'd be pretty cool. So Isaiah Thomas is going to be the newest member of the Houston Rockets. Uh, I think I need a small forward as well. If Justin Holiday wants to come here, wouldn't mind that. And then we do need a center, but I mean, at the end of the day, it's not that big of a deal if I can't get a great center. Um... Oh, I thought that was going to get him. 
Um, wait, what? Can I sign Myers Leonard? All right, I'm actually just going to do a sign and trade with Myers Leonard because I think his trade value is honestly going to be a little bit higher. Uh, so we're going to trade Myers Leonard now, and we will also do hopefully maybe just something quick. Like we'll do our first round pick in 2022. I don't want to really do anything more than that. I can low-key get Thibault, Robin Lopez, Daniel Gafford. I do get quite a bit. I do want to switch it up there. I can get Devontae Graham. Okay. Um, I would get Devontae Graham. I, just, I really do want to start. Um, why am I forgetting his name already? Killian Hayes, and I don't know if I would I would probably start Devontae Graham over him. Bro, give me a center. All right, here's the thing. I'm gonna I'm gonna trade for Gafford and then I'm gonna trade Gafford for different center. I'll see you guys at the start of year number two of the rotation. So year number one, or excuse me, year number two is here, and this team is looking a lot different, and I'm honestly pretty happy about it. Killian Hayes, Zach Levine, Michael Porter Jr., Anthony Davis, and Rudy Gobert. Literally the only starter we kept from last year is Rudy Gobert. But I'm okay with that because I'm really loving this new team. Gary Harris gonna be our new six man here. Robert Williams, I traded Daniel Gafford in a first for Robert Williams and another first. It's fine. I mean, it's Robert Williams is, in my opinion, a better player, but it's literally, it's just more of, I get Daniel Gafford way too much, but Isaiah Thomas is going to come in here and he looks weird without a headband. Um, and then, oh shit, was Justin Holiday on this team? Hold on a minute. Oh no, he wasn't. I don't know why I thought Justin Holiday was, I don't know. My bad. If he, if somehow this game glitched and he was on Houston and that's my bad, but this rotation is all set for now. Really liking the way this team is looking. Hopefully can be a top two seed, probably no, maybe even a one seed in this Western Conference. I'll see you guys at the end of year number two. Makes me so happy seeing these teams do so well. Like, I, I honestly, like, it, it just brings me joy. Like, I love it. 71-11 and 11 after winning 42 games the year before. I mean, obviously a ton changed, but I'm super pumped with this team. Giannis is your MVP, 33 points, 14 boards, 6 and a half assists. The dude's just crazy. What can I say? Lamelo Ball, rookie of the year, 18 points. Yeah, he was very, very good for Detroit. Schroeder, six men of the year. Kawhi Devens, the player of the year. Kristaps Porzingis, most improved. Mike D'Antoni, going to take home the coach of the year award. I did not think this team was going to win 71 games, especially with a rookie starting a point guard, but we still did it. Nonetheless, 49 wins. Got the two seed. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Player stats in the year. Letting scoring by Anthony Davis, Zach Levine, Michael Porter Jr. Killian Hayes, actually, with a really solid rookie campaign. 15 points, almost 10 assists. You'll love to see it. Not the biggest rebounding guy, but that's okay. Isaiah Thomas coming off the bench. Gary Harris. Rudy Gobert, for who some reason has... Spent enough time with the Rockets, and it's time for him to move on. I know the horrors he has of you know winning 71 games, being on the best team in the NBA, but he's on that Mitchell Robinson shit where he's just whew, crackhead vibes. Robert Williams, uh, Justin Holiday, really, really happy with this team. Rebounds per game, it did go to Rudy Gobert himself, and then Killian Hayes let us an assist. Team stats in the air points per game, we were number one in the league. Under 105 points per game. I mean, that front court is just absolutely crazy defensively. That did give us the best differential in the league. So we got the Memphis Grizzlies here in the first round. Ja Morant, Dylan Brooks, Justice Winslow, Jaron Jackson Jr., Jonas Valanciunas. Let's see if we can get by him. I think we can probably get by him. Maybe four? Okay, really? 2K, you're not going to be giving me any of this right now. Bro, there's no way. There's just... Come on now. Come on now. We lost the... F Bro. Get the... F Sorry, I needed a moment to, you know, regain myself there. What happened? What happened? Davis good. Levine was good. Porter was good. Hayes was honestly solid. Rudy Gobert wasn't very good. I, I, I have no, no words for how 71 wins just lost to the Memphis Grizzlies. Look, I get it. John Morant is very good. Jaron Jackson Jr. is really good. How on earth is... Ugh. And the Washington Wizards are in the NBA Finals. Dallas goes on to win it, though. After winning 49 games, Kristaps Porzingis is your finals MVP. And, like, Denver beat them in the next round. I just, I'm so confused about how these things happen. But we're heading into the third and final year, nonetheless. Uh, maybe Mike D'Antoni's the problem? Yeah, you know what? I mean, if Steve Kerr's here, I'm not just going to not sign him. I'm going to give him $8 million a year, and hopefully he absolutely has to come here. Uh, yeah, you're fired now. I cannot believe that that didn't happen. Steve Kerr wants to come here. Cool. I gave him a fuck ton of money, so I would imagine, yeah, $8 million a year for a coach is a lot of money. All right, we're heading up to the draft right now. Do we have any picks? And we have the fourth overall pick from the Pacers, 18 for Miami and 29 of our own. That is what you love to see. I did not mean to do that. Um, that's what you love to see. So Cade Cunningham is here. Cade Cunningham is here. However, I do get him a ton, so I wouldn't mind maybe looking to trade for somebody that could help me win a championship right now. Not that I don't think Zach Levine... I mean, Zach Levine maybe could. Maybe if I put in, if I do Killian Hayes, Gary Harris, and pick four, what are my options? You know, I don't want Vucevic. Jamal Murray, it's a bonus. Okay. This trade definitely interests me. This trade definitely interests me. But before I pull the trigger on that one, 
Let me see if there's anybody else that I could trade for. That, you know, realistically. Could I get Damian Lillard at all? Is there any way? Okay. Hold on. Wait a minute here. He's totally untouchable, but you never know. You honestly, you never know. Damn it. I've like I've traded for an untouchable guy like once, and yeah, that's not gonna be it. So Damian Lillard's not gonna happen. Honestly, I would try Kyrie if they want to, you know, give it a shot. Is he untouchable? He's not untouchable. Okay. As much as I don't like Kyrie Irving, I would definitely still, you know, trade a lot for him. Any chance they do this? Is there any chance? Because I would definitely put, do this. if they, Okay, they're not going to do that. Um, Loki also haven't gotten Ben Simmons in a minute. Ben Simmons would definitely entice me a little bit. Um, you can have... What was I going to say? You can have Gary Harris. Ben Simmons is not untouchable. If this one doesn't go through, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll back out and see if I can find a different trade, but... Come on. This definitely should go through. Oh, come on. Damn it. Is there any... Oh, damn it. There's nothing. Um, Yeah. I don't think I'm finding really anything here. I'm assuming pretty much everybody here is either a free agent or just crazy. I would love to get Russell Westbrook back, but it's just honestly probably not going to happen. All right. I could do Bradley Beal, but is Zach Levine in pick four really a fair trade for Bradley Beal? I don't really think so. But I also really don't want to use the fourth overall pick. All right, maybe I'll like to improve the point guard. I'll see you guys once I have a trade. All right, so I'm going to try to get Kemba from the Celtics. I don't want to trade Killian Hayes, but I also, you know, do, I do want to win a championship. I'm going to try to do this without trading pick four. I don't know if that's going to be possible. Probably not. Uh, it's not, so I'm just going to go ahead and toss pick four in here. Yeah, I'm angry that. So maybe a little bit of an overpay, but at the end of the day, we are getting an all-star point guard, so I really cannot complain too much. So uh, we still do have the 29th overall pick. I don't really want it. Two future seconds is fine. So I wanted to use Killian Hayes. He was an absolute stud for us, but at the end of the day, the 2K algorithm doesn't really love it when you have a 77 overall in your starting lineup with you know a bunch of other unbelievable players. So it's okay. It's fine. We're moving on. Michael Porter Jr., Robert Williams, both going to be coming back. Qualifying offers, we have none. I don't really know who's a free agent. I think it's Rudy Gobert who was being all soft as hell for us and was really annoying me, to be honest, but hopefully he wants to re-sign. Okay, thank God. I was thought he was just going to say, like, no. So I'm going to give him a max contract, no trade or no trade clause. Uh, I think we're, yeah, he's going to be coming back here. All right, Rudy Gobert is coming back. Um, everybody else, I think, is just, yeah, they're, is that a, oh, that's a trade exception. Yeah, so I'm going to keep the myers Leonard trade exception. It's like $200,000, but I'll keep it nonetheless. So Rudy Gobert is back. We have a new starting point guard in Kemba Walker. Um, let me double check after this to make sure we have nine guys, but we obviously, I like to make at least one change. Actually, we, I just traded, um, Gary Harris. So I do need a new six man, I think. Yeah. Um, so I'm definitely in the market for a shooting guard of some sort. Low key and get Pat Beverly. All right. I'm sorry. You guys know me. I, I just love me some Pat Beverly. Like that sounds so suspect, but like Patrick Beverly is like one of my favorite players in the NBA. I just, I love the guy. Uh, a lot of people probably don't like him, and that's perfectly fine, but I do. So we're going to be trading IT and two first-round picks. I would move Isaiah Thompson shooting guard, but the dude's, what, 5'8"? Oh, 5'9", sorry. Um, Landry Shamet honestly might be the guy I go with. Uh, Vernon Carey Jr. Shake Milton. I get Shake Milton quite a bit, though. I definitely want to switch that one up a little bit. All right, I'll take Landry Shamet. We're also going to get Markeith Morris. Um, so Loki, I definitely could improve maybe another position. I could probably improve Justin Holiday. So let's do Justin Holiday. or whoops, that's not Justin Holiday and Markeith Morris, and maybe see if we can get a better small forward. I don't know. I just like, you know, Chandler Hutchinson. We're also going to get a really valuable first-round pick. Not that that's going to turn into anything, but actually, like, if I were to just do this, like, what are, what are my trade offers? That's just what I'm curious about. I don't think I'm going to – ooh, Jaron Jackson Jr., but I have Anthony Davis. All right, I didn't think there's really going to be anything here that's that crazy. And, ooh, SGA is nice, but no, it's just not going to happen. All right, we're all set. I'll see you guys at the start of the third and final year. So we are all set here for the third and final year. Kemba Walker and Zach Levine. Obviously, Kemba Walker is the, you know, the only new member. He actually looks pretty good in a Rockets jersey, low-key. Uh, I don't like saying that as a Celtics fan, though. Love my, I love my Kemba. Uh, Kemba Walker, Zach Levine, Michael Porter Jr., Anthony Davis, and Rudy Gobert does round out our starting five. We also, oh, whoa, stroke. I always have, like, a little mini stroke in the middle of my videos. Uh, Anthony Davis is low-key are only 90-plus on this team, which is actually pretty cool. I mean, I'm sure a lot of that will change. I'm sure all four of these guys will be 90s by the end of this video, but it's cool. Pat Beverly going to be our sixth man here. Robert Williams, Chandler Hutchinson, and then Landry Schmidt. I did not mean to do that. We're all set. This team's looking absolutely insane. Hopefully, let's not lose in the first round again, though. Uh, let's see if we can get a championship. We'll see you guys at the end of year number three. To put it lightly, this might be one of my best records of all time. This team went 76 and 6. Abs I mean, just crazy. Anthony Davis won an MVP for us, as you can see 20 and a half points, 11 boards, 3 and a half assists. I mean, you, you love to see it. Cade Cunningham, rookie of the year. Could have drafted him, probably. I could, probably could have traded up to pick number one, but it's okay. Bull Bull, six men of the year. Anthony Davis also wins Defensive Player of the Year. James Wiseman, most improved. He ended up getting drafted by Orlando. Steve Kerr wins Coach of the Year for us. I mean, this team is just absolutely crazy. I swear to God, if we don't at least make it to the finals, 
Oh, God, you got to love my league here. Player stats near Anthony Davis, Zach Levine with an unbelievable season. Michael Porter Jr., Kemba Walker, really solid. Rudy Gobert, still pretty good. Uh, Pat Beverly. We honestly have three of the best defensive players in the league. Like, Beverly, Gobert, and Davis are just, it's a crazy trio. I mean, add Marcus Smart in the mix. Giannis, maybe. All right. Uh, points per game, we were first, almost 130, under 107 points per game. Obviously, gave us the best differential far and away. We got Utah here in the first round. Our old friend, James Harden. He's probably going to, I want to see what he looks like in a, Oh, he looks weird in a Jazz jersey. Honestly, James Harden probably looks weird in any jersey but a Houston Rockets jersey. Like, I, obviously, I know he was in Oklahoma City. I just, like, really can't see him in a Thunder jersey. It just looks weird to me. Like, that's just, I don't know. That's just my opinion on it. You're more than welcome to tell it yours. But we do end up sweeping uh, Utah in the first round. James Harden not going to be getting a championship in today's video. Moving on to Denver here in round number two. Jamal Murray, Garrison Matthews, Ignas Brigsdakis, Larry Markin, Nicole Jokic, Clint Capella off the bench, and Bull Bull. Jesus. Got enough seven-footers there, eh? Hey, sorry. All right, Denver here. Let's see if we can get by him. Up 3-0. Oh, my God, dude. It's just it's too easy. It's too easy. You know, I also thought that last year, though, we ended up losing. So, taking on the defending NBA champions here in the Dallas Mavericks, Jalen Brunson, Luka Doncic, Will Barton, Christoph Porzingis, DeMarcus Cousins, Tristan Thompson. Interesting additions there. It's Brooklyn and Philadelphia over there in the east. We're up 2-1 here on Dallas. We're Oh, come on. Don't you do this to me. All right, there we go. We, win, we end up winning in six, moving on to the NBA Finals, taking on Philadelphia. Mike Conley. Josh Richardson, Ben Simmons, Al Horford, Joel Embiid, Tobias Harris off the bench, Thibault. Who did they trade to get Mike Conley? Did they just sign him? I actually have no idea. He's not a free agent. I don't know. I don't really care, though, to be honest with you. Uh, we are up 3-0 here. Let's go ahead and get some gameplay here. I would love to get some gameplay with this team. Oh, my God. We're blowing them out of the water in their own building. How disrespectful to sweep them. We are up by, what is that, 49 points? Oh, God, you'll love to see it. I'll see you guys in there. Whew, here in Philly, and I am feeling good. I am feeling good, boys. We're up 3-0 in the series, about to sweep Philadelphia in their own building here in the NBA Finals. I absolutely hate Philadelphia. I'm a diehard Celtics fan, if you guys didn't know. Oh, God damn it. I mean, I don't really have to hate them that much, because, I mean, Philadelphia literally, I mean, Boston literally, like, owns Philly. It's really never been, like, that much of a discussion. Kemba, can we just blow by Ben Simmons here? Oh, I don't know how the hell that worked. Okay, we still miss it, but my bad. Uh, first time watching me, not very good at 2K. Just going to keep it 100 with you here. Uh, but yeah, as I mentioned, please subscribe if you guys are subscribed. I would love to hit 30K within the next two weeks. I mean, I don't know how possible that is, but it would be really, really cool if you guys could just hit the subscribe button. It would be awesome. I would love to see it. I would love to welcome you. Feel free to leave a comment as well. You can comment whatever you want. Um, I'd like to answer as many. I'm terrible at answering comments because like, I always schedule my videos to upload and then... I forget that they're getting uploaded. Like, it's just such a bad thing to say, but, like, it's it's honestly, it's true. And it's just, it's not, like, good, but it, how do you miss that? I don't care if, like, Joel Embiid is there. At the end of the day, you're still seven feet tall. You're, like, you're you're still going to be able to hit a layup when it's, like, like, it was, con oh, Jesus, really? It was contested, but, like, it wasn't that contested. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy to me. But back to this. Comment whatever you want. Make sure you leave a like. Can we hit 350 likes in this video? That would be cool. I wouldn't mind 350 likes in this video. Let's see if we can do that. My views have been going well lately. I don't. I swear to God, if 2K is about to put all these scrubs in right now, I'm gonna be. Dude, I literally hit the starters like eight times. Good lord, you know, about me out here using Brandon Knight. It's just gross. It's just honestly, it's gross. All right, I kind of do want to use AD, so maybe can I get a little pick and roll action here? Right down to the rack. Anthony Davis gonna go up and he's gonna miss it. Oh my god. Like, I don't know why 2K just automatically... Put my starters in. Put them in. How many times do I have to ask? It's crazy. Nick Stauskas, Brandon Knight. The fact that they're both on this team. Was Brandon Knight ever... I mean, it's not... Oh, my God. Uh, it's The rule of it is if you start on the team, then you can't technically come back to it. So, I think Brandon Knight might have been a rocket at one point in his career. It's fine. I don't think he's on the team right now. Not that I even signed him. I literally just... If he's on this team, he's literally... He get Like, 2K signed him to do that, but... It is what it is. All right. This video has been pretty long, long enough already. I'll take two free throws with Anthony Davis, and I'll see you guys at the finals MVP. But, yeah, if you're not subscribed, stick around. Stay a while. I'd love to have you here. I'd love to have you here. Growing my channel as much as possible would be cool. All right. We're all set. I'll see you guys at the finals MVP. I'm going to say probably going to be Anthony Davis wins the finals MVP and a regular season MVP. Yes, he does. Oh, my God. 34 points, eight boards, two and a half assists. Wow. You love to see it. So 61% from the field and 57% from three for a guy who's seven feet tall absolutely crazy love to see it so hopefully you guys enjoyed as i mentioned if you guys are new subscribe 
If you guys can also smash the like button for me, it would mean a lot to me. Uh, 350 likes would be an absolutely awesome goal. But uh, once again, I appreciate each and every individual one of you so much more than you know. It means the world to me that I can do this and create content for you guys that hopefully you guys enjoy just a little bit. So once again, if you guys have any other video ideas, make sure to leave them down below in the comment section. Uh, I also apologize. I have been slacking so much on my podcast and I suck at that and I really got to get back on it. But I just I forget. And videos are obviously like my main focus because that's, you know, that's that's me, you know. The rebuild guy. But once again, thank you guys all so much for watching. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys all in the next one.